everyone, I'm Lindsay Strand. A box of chocolates is always nice on Valentine's Day, but what's even better? when they're handmade. Today on Sweet Talk, we'll be making chocolate caramel truffles. And with just a few ingredients, they're a super simple way to make handmade candies for your loved ones. In a medium saucepan, we're gonna combine one can of sweetened condensed milk. Get all of that out of there. Four tablespoons of butter, half a stick, and half a cup of heavy cream. We're gonna bring this to a boil over medium high, stirring with our spatula until the butter melts. We want to make sure that nothing on the bottom is going to burn in our pan. So we're just looking for the slightest change of color here. All right, so this is looking really good. It's thickened and it's a light golden color. So I'm going to remove it from the heat and let it cool for about five minutes. And while this cools, I can get the rest of my ingredients ready for the truffles and start chopping the chocolate. We're going to be using unsweetened chocolate. We need three ounces of it. All right, just small enough to melt easily into our mixture. So that looks pretty good. Into our cooled, slightly cooled mixture, we're going to add three ounces of unsweetened chocolate, three tablespoons of Dutch processed cocoa powder, two, all right, and three, and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. So we'll stir this together until it's combined, nice and smooth. So we're going to transfer this into a wide shallow bowl or a pie plate. It's okay if this is a little bit shiny like this. That just means that a little bit of the butter is coming out, but once it's cooled and we're rolling it into truffles, it'll all come together really nicely and be super smooth. We're going to cover this in plastic, pressing the plastic right to the surface, and refrigerate until it's firm about four hours. So now for the fun part, rolling the truffles. We're just gonna scoop these into tablespoon-sized truffles. This is really easy if you have a small ice cream scoop like this one, but if you don't, you can always use a tablespoon measure or just a spoon. So you'll just take a little bit of the mixture like this, roll it into a ball with your hands, and set it aside. Know about you but I don't think Valentine's Day is just reserved for couples. It's a really fun day to celebrate with your friends, family, co-workers. I think these could be a really great treat for you know anyone in your life. All right so these are looking good so now we're gonna roll these in sprinkles and these sprinkles add a really satisfying crunch in contrast to the nice smooth creamy truffle. Just like that I really like these multicolor ones. And then we just put them in these little baking cups for your candies. So that's it. So easy, right? And they're so fun. I have a feeling these are going to melt a few hearts this Valentine's Day. Mm, that is so good. Enjoy, guys. Mm.